Hello, I'm Chris Menard. In today's Excel video, I'm going to cover the SUM function. It is the most popular or widely used function in Excel, and there's over 475 Excel functions. And in case you're already using the SUM function, I'm going to give you a few tips while I go through here. And this will be a really short video, so let me get started. I've got a file running. I've got four worksheets at the bottom, number one through number four. I want to total up these numbers in cell B7. Auto sum is in two places. It's on the Home tab over in the Editing group. It's also on the Formulas tab. Auto sum is right here. So here I go. I'm on the Home tab. Click Auto sum once. Click it again. There are those numbers. Press Delete to do it again. Click it once. Here's a tip. Control Enter will leave you in the cell that you're in. So I'm still in cell B7. Enter would have moved me down one. And if you like the keyboard, the keyboard shortcut for auto sum is alt equal. There you go. So here's my first big tip. I'm going to go to worksheet number two. I'm looking at these numbers. I've got a header row in row one. It's in bold. I go to auto sum and click and I click again and I'm like, great, 6 million. Notice it ends with 181. This number is wrong because in my header row, I have a number for the year 2021. So don't include numbers in your header row because you may accidentally pick them up as I did in the formula bar right here. So either do FY 2021 or do year 2021. And if you don't want any words in there, a single quote, 2021 will make it text. That is text and not a number in cell B1. And notice my answer down here is 160 now instead of whatever it is, 181. And by the way, you can still autofill this over even as text. So that's kind of cool. Keep on going. Number three. So you know I can come down here and auto sum. And I haven't done this one yet, but here's an auto fill. And then I could auto sum and auto fill again in column E. I'm going to hit undo. If you know you're going to auto sum, just select your range. I went ahead and highlighted all three. Auto sum. B2 to B6. C2 to C6. Select. Auto sum, and there I go. Undo a couple times. So once you realize what auto sum's doing, just go ahead and highlight. This is the tip. Just highlight your range here in auto sum. Done. Much easier. Which leads me to this last one right here, number four. I usually I would not set up my data the way I did on the spreadsheet, but I get this a lot of times. I have manufacturers in different countries, and we have the Americas region. We have the Western Europe region. We could have more regions, by the way, instead of just two. We could have whatever number you want. I've got Ford, GM, Toyota, and then total. So you could sit here and do what we've been doing, auto sum, auto fill, or just using auto sum, but watch this trick. By the way, I know this works on the PC, which I'm on. I don't know if this will work on the Mac. Uh, if possible, someone has a Mac and they can tell me this, this file will be available. So I'm going to highlight the range, the first range, but I've noticed I stopped in row five where I want my answers. I'm holding down the control key on the keyboard, which lets you select non-adjacent cells. So I highlighted the second range and stopped in row 11. If I had more, I would continue to hold down control and select. I also want to point out, I did this intentionally. I have three countries for Americas, and I intentionally put in four for Western Europe to prove that this works. So here we go. Auto sum. I just want to check one of those numbers. B7 to B10 is correct. But watch this one. After I get all the subtotals for each region... I'm highlighting B2 to E13. Watch this. 
auto sum. I knew that this would be correct over an E. You can look in the formula bar and see. But what's really cool is down in cell B13, it picked up the subtotals that I just did. So the formula is B equal sum B11 comma B5. Cool feature right there. And last tip, and then I'm done. If you have totals and you have yearly data or whatever data you have, and you want to chart it, make sure you don't pick up your totals. That'll throw your chart off. You want to highlight and not get the totals and then go and insert your chart. Because if you get it all, watch this. Just leave them both here. I don't care. That's no good. So make sure you don't pick up your totals when you're creating your chart. The only reason you would is if you want to, I'm using control, is if you wanted to create a pie chart with just the totals, that's when you would do that one. So there's a little chart tip about AutoSum real quick. I appreciate your time. Let me know if you have any comments. If you have a Mac, let me know if this trick worked over here using control in different regions or different ranges. Feel free to subscribe. Have a great day. Thank you.